Hi, welcome to this video about application performance monitoring. Today we'll be focusing on the synthetic capabilities of APM. Um, we started out with a dashboard where I pre-selected the monitors, the synthetic tests that are running. Um, I can see whether they failed or succeeded, which vantage points we're running these tests from, what the load time is and how it's break, broken down by different uh, resource types. The connectivity time breakdown, do you have a problem with SSL or DNS time resolution? And it shows me a, a list of the individual monitors and how many times they succeeded or failed. If I want to drill down into the details of it, I can just click here and it opens up a page that tells me something about the individual test itself, what uh, script is being used, where vantage points are coming from, uh, the interval that is set up, do you, ver do you verify SSL, do you retry if it fails, and there's a list of individual runs, so individual executions of each and every monitor. I see here that this monitor is running average like six and a half seconds or something, and there's one execution or one exception where it takes 12 seconds to complete 12 and a half seconds. That's an interesting one to look at. So I can dive into more details. Um, the diagnostic tools, uh, you can download all of them, but you can also view them. I'll do the view here in, in line. Um, I can see the screenshots. I can use the HTTP archive files, the HAR, or I can go to the trace if this monitor is running against an application that has been instrumented with the APM agent, then we'll be collecting span and trace information that allows us to kind of cross over from um, just the test to the individual details on application level. Let me start out with the view har uh, first. That opens up uh, a har viewer. If you download the file, you can use one that you uh, that you like by yourself, but we've built one that kind of shows you per step what the delay times was. Um, you immediately see that there's only one page that really is um, contributing to that 12 and a half seconds a lot. It takes seven and a half seconds to do the um, commit on the on the wine store. Um, there's one object or one request, which is the auto confirmed uh, post, which is taking a pretty darn long time. Um, for each and every individual uh, step, we also have a screenshot functionality so they can see where in the application this has been uh, taken from. Um, if I go back uh, and I want to figure out, okay, the post order confirmed seems to be the, the one that's delayed much. Can I relate this to any of the tracing information that we've seen um, or is being collected by APM itself? Now, if I click trace details, it opens up our trace UI and does a query against it where it only selects those requests that are part of this monitor run ID, which basically means this particular monitor at this particular execution. So these are all the resources that were loaded. And again, you see this one store will confirm it completed, but it took like 6.7, uh, 6.6, 7.6 uh, seconds to complete. You have some idea of where that time was being spent on the connect or wait, or waits of it, but I can also open it up so I can see individual spans that belong to this request or this uh, commit. And now I can see through the application which services are being called. And it starts out with like an Angular uh, um, front store, so the, the web compartment. Then it makes a call into a payment service, it comes back to the storefront, again, uh, the payments uh, service. And then it makes a call into an ad service. And that ad service seems to be the bottleneck here because that contains the delay of like 5.7 seconds. So overall from 12, 12 and a half seconds, 5.7 is spent on just this individual call. If I click on this, we get span details. So the individual um, metadata <clears throat> within this uh, particular call on this particular service. So now we know where it ran, what type of, of uh, um, request it was, what type of server it's running on. Um, so it, besides just knowing that's the bottleneck and that's the, um, the service that we should be investigating. Maybe look at the trace UI and, and do an investigation across the entire ad service. Um, this is the one that you want to investigate and see where the bottleneck really is. Thank you for watching. This is a quick overview of the, how to do the drill down and how to use this functionality. We'll be showing you much more of these videos in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned. Thanks.